Hey, this is Eddie from Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. I just want to thank all of you guys for helping out with the show and donating. If you haven't donated and you like the show and you want it to continue, please go to our website, jimandeddytalkshit.com, and donate. Uh, you don't just donate and give us money. You When you donate, you get stuff. If you give us like 25 bucks, you get a poster. 50 bucks, you get a T-shirt and a poster. And uh, like 100 bucks, you get our CDs and DVDs and posters and T-shirts. And like 500, Jason sings a song for you about you and a thousand bucks you get to come to the rape cottage so uh please donate and even if you just if you can do five or ten dollars whatever just give it and guess what you get a compromising picture of jason that you really won't want but you'll get it uh, also go to stitcher and download the app you go to your smartphone and you download this is a way you as a fan of our show can really help us out go to stitcher download the app and uh Use the promotional code Jim and Eddie. That really helps us out. So do that. Thank you for all your support. And now for the finest, finest episode we are ever, ever going to perform here. Two douchebags on a couch. One's a missile, one's a grouch. And relentless. Oh! Started. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talking Shit with Jim. This is Jason Hour. I'm here with uh, Eddie Ift and Jim Jeffries. And, Start it and, over. And, wait, wait, wait. No, let, let him do it. I like it when he when he uh, says who the guest is. I don't he know. has no idea. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I know Lloyd, though. He's like some random black guy that just walked in and jumped on the couch. Who's our guest? I don't remember. Say thank you. I just smoked, so... That's a really good start to the show. Yeah. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Jason. How this is you? probably the worst start to the show ever. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Talking Shit with Jim <laughs> Jeffries and Eddie Ift. This is Jason Hour. I'm and with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. And our guest? I still don't remember. <laughs> Thank you. Black guy number two. <laughs> no, he's black guy number one. He's the first really? black guest. Really? Yeah. 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 We've been talking about we need This on, is a monumental on, moment. On, on said, any podcast ever. <laughs> is, it, is this episode 40? This could be HR 40. Episode um. <laughs> We kept saying we have to get... Well, the amount of racist shit we've said, okay. we have to get one on Well, here I already me. know Eddie's coming with some racist <laughs> shit, so I already know. You that, haven't met Jim. I, I'm, not <laughs> ra- I'm not racist. Jim I'm is ignorant. racist by accident. He's yeah. ignorant. <laughs> I'm Australian. I'm Mine, foreign guy. Mine's yeah. calculated. Yeah, Eddie's calculated, man. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to say this to see what happens. Yeah, I only know all the I only know all the uh, foreign bad words, which are nig nog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the British one. That's too playful. Nick-nog, what is that? <laughs> that's playful. What is that? Brown eggnog or something? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a Christmassy nigger. What, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know what they you know what they you know what they call aboriginals in Australia? What's that? Bongs. No bongs. Bong, bongs. Bong, bongs. Bong, bongs like Do you wanna know why? What? <laughs> Sound you make when you hit the car. <laughs> oh my god. You know what's I, fucked up? I didn't write I these can't, things, no, I just I, endorse I them. You know what's messed up? I would know that if I could get a passport. <laughs> <laughs> it seems if you shoot one crackhead, people tend to hold that against you. Forever. Oh, you did shoot a crackhead. Oh, you Tell did. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. Oh, by the way, for all of y'all that at home that are freaked out since the whoever the fuck he is didn't Hi. know my name. Uh, I'm Daryl Wright. I'm a comedian, and uh, I'm here with Jim and Eddie, two of my favorite comics, man. Hi, by, the way, <laughs> by the way, if you all have never seen, <laughs> Hi, welcome to Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie. <laughs> This is Jason Hour. I'm here with Eddie Ift and Jim Jeffries, and our like, guest like today it. is Daryl White. It's Dara right. White. Right. 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 He just said his name, and you got I, it wrong. I was, ex- I was expecting to, Jason to say your name like a question. It's, it's Daryl, right? Yeah. <laughs> I misheard him, actually. No, by I the way, if any of y'all, just, just for y'all that are listening, if any of y'all have never seen any of your fucking Jim live, make a point of it. I'm telling you, like even this podcast, you don't understand. If you see these two fuckers live, it's amazing. Like, when we put the outfits on and everything, uh, <laughs> you really bring the gasoline. We, I bring the lighter. We, we don't even have any sheets left in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Jason brings the crosses from his old church. <laughs> no, seeing them live is amazing. They, they were like, "Can you tell a joke, nigga?" I'm like, "Yes." Yeah. So they just put out the fucking cross and they were like, "Come to do the podcast, cool." Wait, I want to hear how you shot a crackhead. 
It was an accident. Like I was. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just found that guy. No, all right, all right, all right, all right, you were all right, you were right. aiming at an old lady. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was okay. The guy, I used to sell drugs, or as Jim would say, I was a pharmaceutical distribution agent. Yeah. And or as, the guy, or was as Jason the street, would say, the person he speaks to most. In, in the <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy owed me some money, and he was across the street. And me and my friends were on the other side of the street. And he couldn't hear you, so you shot him. <laughs> almost. That's almost what happened. No, we were, we were drunk. Remind me to yell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we were all drunk. He was across the street. And all of my friends were like, hey, that's the motherfucker that owes you money. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I was like, hey, nigga, give, give me my $5. And he was cracked out. So he was like, fuck you. And all of my friends were like, oh, he, he's just going to let a crackhead talk to you like that. So I shot at him to scare him. Yeah, but I shot his that, left butt cheek off. And right. but wait, 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 that's wait, 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 what wait. I do. And were you, wait, wait, wait. Were you aiming at the ground? No, I was aiming at the wall that he was next to, just to scare the motherfucker. Okay, and right. I was drunk, and I hit him. Like if you asked me to make that shot right now, I couldn't do it. No. So and, uh, was it, was he upset, or uh, did we? How did you react when you shot the guy in the? I ass? was drunk, so I really didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and you like, got caught. Yeah. How'd you get caught? Cause I shot him. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, but I thought when they come, you know, when they the cops come around, they go, "What happened?" Everybody go, "I didn't see shit." Dog, you don't know how drunk I was. <laughs> I was like, I shot the motherfucker, and he still owe me five dollars. <laughs> 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 It's just what Jesus. happened with Mark Chapman and John Lennon. Jason, Basically, Jason, John Lennon owed him $5. Can you, can you imagine buying drugs from Dale? You would never. Cause you, you, he would have shot you 50 times by now. What, Jason, is, Jason doesn't like to pay up? Jason no, no, owes Jason, everybody money. Jason pays in goodwill and philosophy. There's no such thing. And dimes. There's no such thing. <laughs> There's no such thing as goodwill paying me off. He, he goes to the pot store and tries to give them dimes, and they won't, they won't give him a <laughs> By the way, who the fuck are you? Hi, man? Hi, hi, hi. I'm Jason. Hi. Like, what are you doing here, man? I don't know. I used to live on the couch. Oh, okay. Because I like, I, I like watch the video where you just jumped across the shit and show him the arm. Show the arm. Yeah, let me see the arm, man. Because I just saw you jump across, and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, on our, on our YouTube page, you can see Jason get up and fucking. This, right. He just got ago. up and jumped. This is from a week ago. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. Just from being a fucking idiot. Look, he <laughs> looks like he got shot for not hearing. Did you see the one with Andy Dick stuntman video? Oh, no. I haven't seen that one. We, made, we, we, we spliced in Andy Dick falling down the stairs. But we, <laughs> actually, we, actually, we actually made him fall down the stairs in Andy Dick's place as a stuntman. Really? Yeah. He doesn't really look like it. Do him. you suck dick too? No, 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 no! It's pronounced as I'd well. I'd suck a dick, but I'm afraid I'd like it as well. <laughs> Do you no, but I was like, because I had heard, because I had heard about y'all's podcast, no. and I was like, it's a dude that just lives on the couch. Like me personally, I'm just like, when you see a white homeless dude. Don't you just feel like saying, take a shower and go home and tell your parents that they were right? Well, like is, I don't know. I have theories on the homeless. Never see an Asian homeless. Dog, you never do. Never I've seen, seen one. I've seen one. Yeah, I've seen no, one. Where? Oh, no, no, where? No, where? That, was a, that was a half black guy who was tired. <laughs> <laughs> where was that at, Eddie? Uh, right out here on the boardwalk. She doesn't area. have really? hands, though. She's armless or something. Oh, is it she? <laughs> Yeah, she could ride a bicycle too. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> used wow. to, used like her little nubs reach. Used to be, the, the used to be an average samurai in. until there was an incident. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't quite finish samurai school, but there's a reason. <laughs> wait, wait. I wanted. I I like that when Daryl just said, "Who are you? What do you do?" Jason really didn't finish. I'd like you to explain. Have that. you ever yeah. Have you ever tried to use chopsticks with just two stumps? <laughs> Not lately, no. Okay. Yeah, because where you you stick the chopstick in the part where they sewed it up. Stop you know, lying. Oh, That's yeah. creepy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, please explain to Daryl who you are yes. and what you are. I really don't know. I no. mean, I'm just here. Like it must I'm be Jason. nice to be white because you don't even know what the fuck you are. When you live in a house with a fireplace. Like, how does how the fuck does that work, man? I, actually, I have to, I'm on Daryl's side here. I find it offensive. <laughs> Living in, in California with a fireplace. And you don't know what the and fuck you do. What I find worse about the fireplace is Eddie will light that thing up if it's just the slightest bit chilly. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie's in there do with, the, with the poker. Do y'all have those logs? Oh. No, no, I use the real shit. He fucking... Black people. 
<laughs> no, he um, he's he's really into it. Eddie, Eddie will start a fire up at a heartbeat. And Jim does it too, but it's with a cross. No. Oh. Oh. Boo. I, speaking of fire, we, we got to get firewood for our, our weekend vacation. Jim, oh. Jim and I have a holiday. We're going to uh, Big Bear. We're going to Big Bear for, for the, what? For, we holiday together. We share a dog. <laughs> <laughs> when are y'all going to Big Bear? We're going up to Big Bear this weekend for Fourth of July weekend. And it's uh, no snow. No, no. We're just going up. Like uh, we've got a cabin. Get drunk in a cabin. Get drunk and and do what? And go, we're bringing some chicks with us. And, and, okay, cool. All right. As long as it's not just you two. No, no, no. But but um uh. Is that, Jason going? No. <laughs> and this is what I like about it because I wasn't meant to tell Jason. I'm outside today and Jason's going and I had this genius idea okay. because Jason's my pot hookup. I never had take pot, but I thought I'm in Big Bear. I might like one of those pot brownies that Jason speaks that the kids seem to enjoy. <laughs> and, and I said, I said, where, where do you get one of those pot brownies? I said to him, he goes, I can get you as many as you want. Why do you want them? I said, I might take some up in Big Bear. He goes, when are we going to Big Bear? And I said, <laughs> I said, oh, well, me and Eddie are going up soon. And then, and then Jason goes, can we take the PlayStation? Like, <laughs> he just assumed he, he was going. He assumed he was well, going. He goes and I said, with us. I, said uh, I still haven't gotten an answer. Or I, what the fuck he does? Nothing. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Nothing. How the fuck can you do nothing and, and live Jim's- on Venice Beach? He's just good. With- People give him shoes and T-shirts. He was- t- today, I was walking out. And this guy came delivering cookies, like regular cookies to one of the cafes, and as he passed, he just gave Jason two cookies without saying hello or anything, just like it was a natural were transaction. Were those they Phil's do every power day. pancakes? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, You're unfucking believable. I love America. The gym, the gym want, uh, the, my CrossFit gym wants to give him a free membership to work him out. Uh, what the how the fuck does that the, happen? The thing is, I bought him a meal the other day at this barbecue place, which gives you three different types of meat and of corn, but it's delicious. And so we had that, but then Jason didn't finish his, so he took half of his meal back and he had it in a styrofoam going, which I don't have a problem with. They doggy bag the food. But then uh, Eddie and his girlfriend come back from being out in a restaurant, and his girlfriend had doggy bagged her food to give to Jason. <laughs> right? And, 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 and I was like, and I was like, I, I've already given him a meal and a doggy bag worth of food like this. And then Eddie goes, he's not getting it. We spoil him. <laughs> Like, like Eddie, Eddie would rather throw it out than have Jason have more food. He ate. I had. Steaks, if we do this, you'll ste- never get a job. I had steaks in the freezer last week. Well, he was watching my dog. He ate them all. What? He, he goes in I and did takes. Not eat them all. He ate one steak. Two, two. And then one like sandwich and, steak thing. And yeah. you and you laugh while that, you're eating. And it. you giggle while you eat them and go, Eddie's gonna kill <laughs> that's me. That's hearsay. No, it's Which that's goes, the testimony of one witness. That goes back to my oh, original goodness. question. Who the fuck are you? Like, dog, how you just... Well, Eric Honbold so, is okay, here. Actually, there's a, there's uh, well, a friend in the room, Eric Honbold. He's a director. And t- the other day, he has had Jason <laughs> write some stuff. He's the guy that Jason wrote the film yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, the, the one and, that you guys are and Jason, claiming that I stole from and Pilkington. And he said, he said Jason is the, is the uh, Mark Twain of our generation. Oh. Yes. And then he said... Didn't he, and, okay, and, okay. Wait, 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 let's finish it out. Didn't and he, he said, die of syphilis? And then he said on the next beat... <laughs> I'll, I'm going to qualify that, though. He said, and it's the Mark Twain that this generation deserves. And didn't Mark Twain... Okay. <laughs> didn't, now, Mark, this, didn't Mark Twain write, write the N-word a lot? Now, this is my... Now, this is where I, I showed it. There was it. a lot of those stories were changed, right? This yeah, is yeah. where I showed it. Racist. I'm educated. Which Mark Twain? Early Mark Twain or late bitter Mark Twain? Oh, you're going to have to ask Eric... Eric? Eric, the, Which the jaded Twain? old Mark the Twain or the young... The early sna- poor Mark Twain. <laughs> no, no. Him? What he's talking... He's talking about the, the five-year-old early, the Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs> the one when they thought he had a learning Developmentally disabled <laughs> Mark Twain. Developmentally Y'all delayed. are beating around the bush. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now yeah. this is what I would like Jason to do. I would like you to sum up in two sentences or less what and who you are. <laughs> before you do that, uh, before you explain in two sentences who you are... I asked our listeners uh, to put up a Wikipedia page. For him? For Jason. Oh, my God. It was the funniest fucking thing I've <laughs> ever read in my life. In one night, his Wikipedia page was basically longer than Paul McCartney's. 
And there was they they detailed every attribute, everything he's ever done on the show, everything we've ever talked about, and they were adding shit, and it was amazing. It was so detailed, and then it was taken down oh, by Wikipedia. It was contested because they didn't believe he was an attack page. They, they, called called it. It. <laughs> they labeled page. it as an attack page. I'm like, no, that stuff's true. Jason, <laughs> you can you can you can uh, protest. The, I did. I wrote a letter and they didn't respond. He protested. Like people say, like you know, if people on Wikipedia will attack something and say, right. "Hey," uh, or they'll say, "That's an attack page." Like you're you're defaming their character or whatever. <laughs> Jason <laughs> defended the attackers and oh said, my God. "No, all this shit about me is true." It's funny because on, on my Wikipedia page, um, someone went in and did the Eddie If Does AIDS thing on it, and then. <laughs> And then they wrote, um, and he also lives with a fat scrounger. Ho- he sits- no, he doesn't say fat. <laughs> it says is- hobo scrounger. Hobo scrounger, sorry. Oh, excuse me. You have no is problem it, with it- hobo or scrounger. <laughs> <laughs> but the fat part pisses you off. Really? Oh, yeah. So, so is that a, a hobo scrounger, <laughs> the waste of something, lives on his couch and blah, 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 blah. They took down the Eddie If Does Age bit because that is defamatory, but then they left that on. <laughs> and that's still on my page, and I refuse to take it off. <laughs> oh, Hobo. my God. Hobo Scrounger. Hobo Scrounger. Oh, my God. He's God. off the grid. He's off the grid. The government doesn't know he exists anymore. Why should they? He's decided that, 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 that money, <laughs> no one needs money. No one needs money when they're living with you two motherfuckers. <laughs> Dog, you still haven't told me who the fuck you are two, or what two, the fuck you Two do. sentences. What are you? Um... I'm a backslid worship leader that found his salvation through other people's money. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. And what do you think? Do you okay? If you wanted to inspire our audience with two sentences, <laughs> like like just an inspirational Mark Twain esque quote, oh, what would you say? That I've created this universe through visualization and using the law of attraction. Good. Thank you, everyone. That's awesome. There you go. He created Jason, this universe through said. visualization and the laws of attraction. Yeah, he, he actually has musical skills too. And uh, our listeners, if they donate five hundred dollars, <throat> he writes a song about them. And uh, we had a guy, Milan. That's all he got to do. It's all he's got to do. Mil- I- Milan, who came here to one of our last episodes, who brought the Tim Tams, and we had the Tim Tam Slam. Uh, Jason wrote a song I about the, him. Uh, my nope. May I say something about the Tim Tam Slam? I had someone write me um, an, an email about the Tim Tam Slam saying, that was officially when you guys jumped the shark. I'd like to say to any cunt who's ever said jump the shark, you know what's jump the shark? Saying something's jump the shark, you fucking <laughs> cock. What is jumping the shark? Uh, there's an episode, Fonzie jumped the shark on jet skis, and they said that's when happy days began to suck. It's when a show goes downhill, and they're like, oh, oh your show is... okay. Fu- and what has that guy done with, with his life to even come? Oh, it's on amazing that shit? the criticism we get on the show. And we, no, know what I've realized? I'm Britney Spears. I got my first internet stalker person the other week, and I'm just like, "What do you do? Because you're not shit." And if I answer you back, then it's like, "Do you ever, do you ever write to you? I shoot am- me in the ass, asshole." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some yeah. dumb shit like that. I wouldn't just like with you, it's your- you shoot people. No, but it's like, dude came at me with like, "Your comedy sucks and you're corny." And I'm like, you live in your mom's basement. Know what, I, know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home and slam the door on my apartment because you can't do that without waking up your mother. I, I got so, a guy write me a letter that went, you're not as good as George Carling. And I'm like, yep. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's about what I thought of my own talent as well. Not as good as George Carling, yes. And, and you are. I and who are you? I today I today see this is the way I handle it today I got one today that said uh, okay let, let's that, that, let's hear that, it. that uh, Jim Norton and Jim Jeffries are the funniest two guys in the world and you suck you're a cunt she said you're a cunt she and, yeah and she said and you sucked on when you were on Adam Carolla and then my I, mom's a letter writer and I got it <laughs> well I'll tell you I looked I looked uh, I just googled this girl's name and got her Facebook picture. And I know it was her because we had one mutual friend, Jason Hour. And she was. Oh, uh, Meredith, was, how could she you? She was potentially the fattest. Meredith, how could you? Meredith, how could you? I have I'm ever seen in my entire life. Like, seriously, like, you would. Any. Even Jason would vomit having sex with this woman. Her name? Kelly. Look her up. <laughs> Probably the fattest, wow. ugliest, most disgusting, putrid, horrible, 
excuse me. How does it woman. feel now, Kelly? You <laughs> fat cunt. You fat cunt. <laughs> and she's now like, I've lost Kelly as a fan. <laughs> just, to, just to keep friends with Eddie. Kelly, uh, keep buying my DVDs, Kelly. It, 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 <laughs> she wrote, I think I'm in love with Jim Norton and Jim Jeffries. Definitely not that cunt Eddie Ev. There's... there's <laughs> Jim Norton and Jim Jeffries, there's a spit roast where you get cut. Dog, I would be scared to be in the same room at the same time with both of y'all, let alone be in love with you. We're the same people. All right, Jason's going to sing a song. Oh, y'all owe somebody a song? Explain, yeah, we, we, donation. You get a song? Okay, Jason now is going to, this is for one of our donors, Milan. It's been a great supporter of the show. Came here, brought vodka, brought Tim Tim. Thank you, Milan. Got Jason drunk. Donate money. He's helping the show. This is what you get. Jason will write a song for you. I hope I don't fuck it up. You better not fuck I'll it up. I'll probably fuck it is up. Is that a Daryl will shoot you in your ass cheek, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> the elite and Meredith should be drinking through this whole show. Can I ask a question? Day. How does Jason get to have her hold a microphone? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> On the way to the improv the other night, he t- said to me, I wrote a really good song for well, you. Wait, wait, wait. He's but, been bragging about this song what, all day. What, what did you say it was? You said it was a folk song almost. Uh, yeah, That's it's a little it. folky. Late night phone call and the other ends of promises. Get your shit together, boy. You're going on the road. I'm here with Eddie if I think you're funny and I hope you hope shit sorted out. The weeks drifted by Not even a high Oh, where did you go, Milan? Then one day he showed up at the cottage And by cottage I mean the place of rape And by rape I mean my soul By the constant barrage Of cock teasing from Lilith But back to Milan He brought us some gifts Including some booze and a scrotum And something fresh Tim Tam Slam Tim Tam Slam Tim Tam Slam Yeah Tim Tam Slam To start you bite the corners of the biscuit And the corners have to be opposite inside You get a cup of your favorite liquid and tonight vodka is my choice when you say mine then start to suck <laughs> fill in your mouth then shove it in oh taste the joy keep pushing thank you tim tam slam tim Slam, Tim Tam Slam, Tim Tam Slam, Tim Tam Slam. Now the black guy. Do do a rap or something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something for real. I wanted to be bent over like that. Let me tell you something for real. If I spent five hundred dollars for that shit, <laughs> <laughs> a thousand, a thousand dollars for that shit. This is my thing. I know I'm not on here often. I'm privileged to be on here. Motherfucker, you got to come better than that. For real. Right? <laughs> I don't know no. what the fuck you thought that was. But no, 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 no. no that no. was his best song. That was, yeah. $4,000. Yeah, that's his oh, best oh, song. No, no, no. That's just like, I can't play and sing at the same time. I'm not a singer. I'm then like, motherfucker, what the fuck do you do but, again? What the fuck do but, you do? But in a, but in a multi... I was like, oh, but no, if no, I no, record no, that... Jason, 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 hold I thought... After I asked, what the fuck does he do? And y'all like, he does music. I'm no, like, I okay. I never said he did music. I'm like, I okay, well, this it. song is going to be the bomb with Milan's name in it. So I'm listening, and I'm like, if I'm Milan at home, 
listening to this bullshit. It's very. I'm like, look, dog, you got to come better than that. It's very hey, hard I'm not to gonna, rhyme with Milan. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I spent a thousand dollars, you better figure out something, you lazy motherfucker. Yeah, but look. you don't know the you don't know the back end to the Tim Slam Slam. I got yeah, he brought the no, 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 no. Now hold up. That chorus was cool. Ah, the chorus was good. Everything else was garbage. So you need to keep the chorus. <laughs> You should do you should do movie reviews. You no keep the chorus. Keep yeah. the chorus cuz y'all singing that together was cool. But <laughs> so what you're saying is when Jim and I our part was good. Yeah, yeah we we did well. Yeah. But that and bullshit that I'm that I was listening to with scrotums and all that shit. <laughs> I don't need that shit for $1000, dog. I would rather hear y'all sing Tim Tam Slam and have a fireplace going than what the fuck he was saying. So which gets me back to what the fuck do you do, Playboy? <laughs> Playboy. It's not I, music. I t- I'll tell you what he doesn't do. What's that? Little Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> you notice Andy's. Am pants? I like? Wait a second. Am I a jackass or 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 or, or no, do all of y'all work see, for them and see, y'all gotta be like that's cool? This, this, that was some garbage. Who's that? Lilith. Lilith. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is Lilith. Lilith Crane. No, she's not because she's finer than her. Lil, look, Lil, was that garbage? Uh, it could have been better. Thank you. That's close enough. Hey, hey I'm going to defend Jason. I thought you did a tremendous job. I, I you actually had. liked it too. Dale. I liked it too. But this is, but it's in relation to what else he's done. Yeah. What's that mean? Nothing. He's never done anything. He's never done shit. But, so but that's, not, that's a building block. Yeah, to, we're, we're to, getting somewhere. He actually <laughs> produced something in his life. There was an accomplishment. We told him to do something. A week later, he can't. Well, three what, weeks what later. What you don't understand, Daryl? Okay. Right. What okay. you don't understand? Okay. Okay. This is a child. Right? <laughs> this is a child. You're like, like if your child comes home to you with a painting when they're four of you and them standing in front of a house and there's a sun and all that, it looks shit. But you don't go, this is shit. I'm not putting this on my fridge. It sucks. If my child has a mustache... <laughs> at, four, at, four years, at four years old, a painting that shit is the least of my fucking uh, words. Right? That's true. I got no, no, you're right, Daryl. That was shit, Jason. Speaking of which, yeah. That, <laughs> Jason, Jason, can you can you get me a beer, please? And can you get um, our ladies a shot of vodka too? Because. Um, Meredith and Lilith made out during the last show, which was you probably if you were listening let's, to the last episode. Shot of vodka. Am I being mean? Man? I, like I just want to get them drunk. Well, we only have vodka, and we want right. to get you yeah, drunk. Vodka. Didn't anyone get some Coca Cola? We're something? hoping you two end up. I'll, like, have, I'll have a beer as well. I'll, I'll have a beer. Am I being? We, we hope you two end up in the hamster cage later. Um, am I being what, bitter right that, now? Anyway? No, 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 no. Jim's no. bedroom. No, but I'm like, cage. you know what? I still think like the. Okay, here's my education coming up. I still think Come like, on It's I, like the, the <laughs> podcast Became come, the Apollo All of a come sudden Come on <laughs> <laughs> Did you rub the stump Or whatever <laughs> Forgot <laughs> to rub The fucking stump <laughs> what, is, what is it With the Apollo And the stump What is that I have no idea All I know is that It's an old black guy That comes out And tap dances That's all, all I know uh, Look it, This is really good We've got Daryl here We can ask all our Black questions <laughs> He couldn't answer Our first one What's the stump <laughs> What's the stump I don't know that <laughs> We found out About shooting crackheads I, That's <laughs> Are you all actually brothers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, I don't know. No, why that's funny coming from Jim because he's from Australia, so he can get away with it. If okay. Eddie said it, it would be like, "Oh, that's fucked up." <laughs> no, Jim. Are you about- actually all sisters? No, no. But um, no. what does homie mean? Oh, thank, thank I have no idea. You. Where did homie come from? Because they're all homie. homosexuals. Oh, you're gonna die. Sorry. Oh, gonna tell that to all, all the white girls out there, Playboy. No, we're not. We, I- <laughs> we are slinging dick, player. I- and by the way, okay. Can I, can I... Hey, do you like white chicks or black chicks? I like all of them. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have a problem with you know what? Me and... What about and, Asian birds? you like Asian birds? I've never had one. Yeah, you oh. wouldn't like that. I've never had one. Never no. had it. A- actually, hang on. Armenian and old whitey. Have a, have a shot. <laughs> I actually prefer Africans. I like to get a little bit of everything in there. No, I've, had I've never had an Asian girl. Never... I mean, that's... All right, I, here we go. The girls are going to... girls are going to do look, shots. Hey, link arms and do shot, it. Shot, shot, you shot, You should kiss shot, before shot, it. Shot, kiss shot, again shot. before it. Let's I make it a theme. Little yeah. kiss, little kiss, right. little kiss. <laughs> Here we go. So, someone's going to lose a computer. <laughs> <laughs> they just did a shot over Ernie's laptop and all recording <laughs> equipment. You know what I like? They didn't spill a drop. No. Sweet. I like a little bit of it to dribble down their chins. <laughs> 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 Has anyone got some Kahlua? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Do we, oh. have, do we have any more black questions? Well, I'm mostly like white Jim chicks. does. I'm Jim. mostly like white chicks is my, my preference. Have you ever had, had a black chick? I have, yes. And? Um, How did that go? Well, I, she was half. She was she no. Was, I'm talking about full blooded. No, I have. You have no one. <laughs> no, like Darryl, Noah's, Darryl. Noah's, Noah's, Noah's weird. When I when I said full blooded black chick, Jim had this fear in his no, eyes. I, like, yeah. I'm not. I, I don't know. Between if I'm me and you, Daryl, I've never talked to one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna... hold up, hold up. Jason's had one. Yeah. So how did so how did it go, Jason? She has an amazing body, dude. Yeah, like, okay. but she anything she, does. She too. had a bullet wound in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, all right. So, Jason, all right, and she had an amazing body, and then what? Well, I mean, and then Jason disappointed her. End of. Yeah. <laughs> no, same situation. Just kept. Going, had to take a shit and no couldn't come. come. No coming. <laughs> No, I, I I did you know was she the, five hour My, the one that I had that was half was covered in tattoos if that counts. I just gotta say this, <laughs> no, no, like I know we do a lot. Uh, no, I know I know we do a lot for Jason and everybody gets pissed off. A lot of listeners are like, oh fucking Jason, and a lot of people love you. A lot of people don't like you. You're very polarized. A lot of people hate you. But 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 you know what? I'm so sick of this Jason never getting laid. We have to have a listener out there that will fuck him. There has yeah. to be some chick out there somewhere or some dude knows no, 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 this no, chick. No, no, all right, all right. You get to come to the rape cottage if you can bring a girl or I you mean, know a girl I will California. I will up the ante you don't have to donate to the show we will donate to you <laughs> yeah. no one's messed no, up no we're soliciting press no so, <laughs> no what no one's so frustrating Jason's life about Jason he doesn't look creepy what? what? No, he doesn't look... <laughs> hang on, Why hang on, is hang that on, frustrating? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because the man is in plaid shorts wearing no, no, a red no, no, and stimpy no, 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 t-shirt. <laughs> no, no, no. What's, what's, he's got a handlebar no, mustache. No, 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 And he's no, wearing no, flip-flops no, 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 with no, toes no, that look like hammers. No, no, no. This is... All of this is image. All of this is image for y'all show. If you put him in a regular show... Lineup? He, he has they a, would he pick out the rapist. And it I know would be that, Jason. I... I know that. That's what frustrates people probably is we can picture him in a T-shirt, I mean, in a shirt, mm-hmm. slacks, mm-hmm. going to a regular job. No, That's we why can't. We, no, y'all can't, but I can. That's why I'm asking, what the fuck do you do? No, I mean, I do have a job. I, I Explain. I do marketing. Do they uh, pay you at this job? <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Enough, like, enough uh, that you could pay to come like, to be uh, there. Do you have to? Do you have to give them a social security number, or do you, do you have? One of those? No, no, I don't. Do you have, no. to, declare, do you have to declare taxes? Right. So, so often with jobs, they ask, yes. Often with jobs, they ask for social security numbers. So, how about a driver's oh. license? Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, but license? those are jobs where you're employed. I'm actually so a, you're not a, employed. I'm a minor partner. You, you, <laughs> you have a <laughs> you have a job, but you're not employed. You're a minor partner. Yeah, it's a it's because usually our, when I start I'm up a, a part, part of a company. When I start up a partnership, I usually <laughs> like to do that with people mm. that have PO boxes. Do you have a <laughs> what is it a, a business? Do you have a business name that you work on? Yeah. Jim, what's your title? That's a good Why name. I was going to use doing that business, that business as the hour of because power. Because you know, because because you know what, some of their guests can let it can let it go and say that that's cool. I actually pay taxes now. <laughs> no, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you an example. Daryl, 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 you're really pissing me off. I had to pay to have you in prison for a long time, man. Daryl, you know what? Noah's, Noah's, Noah's. Daryl, I paid the salary of that cop that arrested you. Noah's, well, so do I. Daryl, I'll I'll explain you. I paid the cop of that nurse that dug that bullet out of that guy's ass. Like this guy shot people. Let me fucking talk him off the ledge and tell him what he wants to hear. Jason, Jason, when you have a job, you can talk. Then I can. Jason, you can talk if you let Daryl shoot you in the ass. That's our next stunt. I don't have a gun on me. If no, 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 gun, the, I don't have a gun on me. His get, only fucking Lloyd does. problem. Lloyd does. Do you have a gun? Lloyd, your friend has a gun. You have a gun? Have what a do gun? you have? Okay. Oh, Listen, yeah. Jason. Just a cum shot. Just will the, you let Daryl shoot you? No. In the just, he's just going to no. graze it. Come on. <laughs> he's going to graze it. Open pimp, wounds pimp can him. get infected easy. No. No. We'll film it. It'll be great. Uh, what the fuck was that? Yeah, that All was, right. that was disrespectful. For. You're never going to get a job that way. You can only do that on white people. He's not looking for one. He has a fireplace without right, working. Everyone, Why do you got to work Everyone right calm down. He just gave me the look. There's, every now and again, he gives me this look. <laughs> like we've gone too which far. Is, which is like, fuck you, Jim. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't live he, it. You know what? He, he, got, he gave me this look. He goes, keep pushing it and see if you, I'll let you buy me dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep, keep, <laughs> 
keep pushing it and check out which T-shirt I don't wear anymore. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You want, Jim, Jim, do you understand, Jim? Do you understand? I am now a taxpayer. All right. Dog, I am a taxpayer. Yeah. I pay taxes. This comedy <laughs> shit is traceable, man. Oh, it's traceable, yeah. Dog, I pay taxes. I'm like, when does a white boy that's clean cut just fucking live? Like, dog, don't you get No, no, no. He I, grew up on the tough streets of Massachusetts. <laughs> No, the tough woods of New he, Hampshire. He, he grew up they were, on Lake. The, what? the woods were so big <laughs> that he couldn't. Can took it. He, <laughs> oh he my god! He couldn't even walk he through his to next door neighbors. It. it was without seeing rainbows and squirrels, right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it was like rough. he'd get tired and have to have a nap. So what he did was he set up a tent in between the two properties to stop over and have. And a he nap. hasn't worked since. Now, no. Daryl, you gotta understand. This guy comes from a tough life. His grandfather used to beat him with the stick. His mother's a midget. Um, <laughs> Just remember this, Eddie. Before you tell me this, I'm a black guy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sure that I that didn't shit... know about this. When did I'm this sure... happen? I'm sure that that shit works for your white guest. <laughs> I've been shot in the face. What the fuck do you I get? You got shot in the face? Yeah, that's what this is. You got shot oh, in the face? Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, fuck. So this, when you're... Was this from the guy I, that you shot? Oh, that, was, that was... No. I'm you planning to do that to well, the elite. <laughs> <laughs> Any time. Well, wait, wait, wait. That's what this is right here. Wait, wait, wait. So you, you, you shot someone. You've been shot. Yeah. And we're well, fucking all You've that been shit. stabbed. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? DC. Oh fuck. Oh. Jeez, they have some. They have some tough open mic you know, guys there. <laughs> <laughs> I spent some time in DC. I lived in the hard streets of the Northwest area. Oh my God. That's Georgetown. Silver Spring, Georgetown. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. What part of D.C.? Uh, I was in South... Like, uh, where FedEx Field is now, they actually tore down my projects to make FedEx Field. It's oh. a, there was a project called Timber Oaks. What's FedEx Field, sir? It's where the Redskins play now. Oh, yes. The sir. Washington Redskins. And, a, uh, a wonderful a race genocided that. race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I often go to Germany and watch the uh, Munich Jews play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jim, I actually watched soccer this year, man. Cool, man. Because of your joke, I actually watched soccer... And we suck. Yeah. USA oh, America's all right. No, America's all right. You know, don't say that just because the podcast. We no, suck. No, no, no. You, 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 you can you, tell you, the difference. You're slightly man. better than Australia. You're all right. No, you can tell the oh, difference yeah, yeah, yeah. if you watch like English soccer, oh, English and soccer, or USA. Italian soccer, or Spanish no, soccer. We comparison. suck. Yeah, yeah. We suck at because this. in America. And, and to all my, because let me explain why. Because in America, when you go to high school, what do you do? You go into football, basketball, the I, I high school, because that's where all the money is in America. Shh. So the no, athletes that's where all the that girls are. Yeah, I, but I, all the all, all the, the no, the, understand. I, this. No, 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 I have to nip this in the bud. No, no, no. I'm not. I agree with what you're saying, but just I know there's an asshole right now in Britain going. It's called football. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't send us that fucking letter. I know it's called football. I'm and in America right now. That's if, why I'm calling it soccer. I just faggy, fucking deal and with And if it. you're a faggy soccer player in America, that's going to be like, I was the best athlete in my high school, and I chose soccer over football. No, you couldn't take a hit, you big <laughs> pussy. Because in high school, you go to football first. It's the biggest money making sport in America. You choose yeah. football. Yeah, yeah but yeah. the if biggest money making sport basketball. in the world is soccer. It's soccer. But it if is. you live in America, yeah, but what, I, that is such a fucking narrow point of view. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, real, real what's quick, the average? Real quick. What's the average salary of an NFL football player compared to a soccer player? Are you kidding me? Y who do you think makes more? NFL football soccer players? players by a fucking mile. No fucking way. No. In the Premier League, the Spanish League, and the Italian League, by a to be fucking continued. by a fucking mile. What? Where are you going? I got a piss. Oh. Oh. We just yeah. lost Daryl. Yeah. Don't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> our plumbing's back out no, again no, no, no. from last Jim, week. Jim, our so, best. So Daryl's fucking Amer pissing Amer in the street. American baseball basketball he's gonna football come, players. He's going to come back with a bullet fucking wound. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, there's been a lot of shooting in this show. Um, American baseball basketball football players make way more money than... They don't? Oh. I'm sorry. They don't. I, well, than European football? European football players. That's the most popular sport in, in the, the world. world. I know that. I know that. But, uh, oh, yeah, because these are all in poverty. There's no money in England. There's no money across you. I'm telling you that, that uh, Messi, uh, fucking Ronaldinho, these people are making way Sure, a few more. of them. A few Not of them. a few of them. The whole uh, Premier League. What mate. would you say the, the whole... average salary is of a, of a, of a, of a, of an, a Premier League player? Uh, in, in pounds? A year, yeah, yeah, yeah. A season? 20 yeah. million pounds. The average player is making 20 million pounds. Jesus. No, actually, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> 20 million No, no, no I, I like, that's when they're bought They're bought for about that much Um, I don't know no, What I've heard is That I, honestly Football 
football in England, players make more money. Way more money. Yeah. Way like they more were just money. saying, they were just saying today on ESPN where that one dude they got the buck teeth. He makes like uh, Ronaldinho. Dania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he like makes like two hundred fifty thousand dollars a game. Wayne, well, I mean twenty fifty million. Like, well, what, what, what was a Rod making? Okay, you know the football clubs. You guys have like the Dodgers going bankrupt now with these like little tiny like fucking bloke who who has a divorce, so then the club has to go to shit. You know the Premier League. These teams are owned by billionaires. My team Fulham has a billionaire that owns it, and he's not a rich enough billionaire to compete with the other billionaires. Like, like the p- guy who owns Chelsea, the people who own Manchester United, the guy who owns Manchester okay, City. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Dad, you, don't well, you don't understand what's Manchester City. All Jim's fans in the UK are going to go fucking wild on this. Manchester yeah. City is the richest sporting club in the world okay. of any sport. And, and, and know how I know that? Because I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan, and the guy that owns the Tampa Bay Buccaneers American football team owns Manchester United. United, yeah. United's they're the most fucking loaded. United's the most popular team in the world, but Man City's now the richest. Because right. there's well, some and Arab, and, and, Arab fucking, and fucking Man U is that just loaded. bought them. Man U is loaded. Actually, Man U's going into receivership. They're going, they've spent too much money. Yeah, but exactly. they're, they're but still. They're <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim, for fucking up everything. But I'm just trying to back you up on that, but fuck you. This um, was the most boring conversation we've ever you, had on the show. But you're wrong, too. Eddie. You're wrong. You're yeah. as ignorant as I am about black people. <laughs> <laughs> about about soccer in Europe. I'm sorry. No, wrong. soccer is the move, man, and all and they don't have to take no hits. Soccer is a third world country. Do you know uh, that? Do you know game. that the World yeah. Cup is substantially more popular than the Olympics? Mm. Yeah, I know that. Do you know there's more long term injuries in soccer than boxing? Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, from what? Like. The, from Cliff Clavin just season. interrupting the show. Yeah, you uh, know that the uh, <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> yeah, more yeah. more concussions occur <laughs> in soccer. Up in the uh, ankles of the soccer per capita, player. Per uh, capita, per athlete, concussions? more more concussions because you're heading the ball, you get in collisions. People go up for the ball, they're both going to head it, they hit each other. There's a lot more contact than you. Can, can we you please take think? advantage of the fact that we have a black eye on the show? And we start have. Talking. Oh, We're right. talking about soccer. What's that mean? Notice how I use. Notice Black how I, people <laughs> love soccer. Yeah, internationally. It's, no, I, I, I tell you what. That's the next thing. The, you, the next wave is getting more and more popular in Africa, and the African teams are getting better. Is water in ten years? No one's, no one's getting really popular in Africa. Water and water AIDS is, is really, through the roof. <laughs> Water is really getting popular. It's really catching on right now, man. Right. I, have to walk. I, I did a walk for water. I did a thing really? to raise awareness for African women that have to walk. This is a true story. I'm in Melbourne, Australia, and I had to walk. <laughs> they, they had me be the spokesperson for the Walk for Water. I had to walk 7K uh, for, uh, and I didn't even know what, I don't know, metric system. Uh, I don't know. It's five, like five miles. I knew like grams. That's about it. But right. I was like, so I got to walk 7K. And I was all fucked up. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I show up to do this fucking event. <laughs> and I show up with Al, or what's his name? Um, it's a comic that lives in Sweden. Uh, I don't know. Al Pitcher. Al Pitcher. Al Pitcher and I go to do this fucking walk around uh, the botanical gardens in Melbourne, Australia. Botanical? I, I think that's the call. Yeah. I just, just. And, uh, <laughs> Just fucking with you. So we go to walk around this fucking park, and we're the spokespersons, and we're talking, and we lose the whole crowd of guys. And so we're like, fuck, we lost the whole parade. So we just cut through the park to the finish line, and they, they see us, and they're like, the fuck are you guys doing? Because we got there like 10 minutes, 20 minutes early. They're like, right. the fuck are you doing? And I go, uh, those women don't have to walk 7K anymore. I, I found a shortcut, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. You, you know when you have co- cross country races when you're a kid in school, they just make you do every sport to see yeah, if you can yeah, get good yeah. at any of them. And they do that thing where they make you run like a couple of miles, and so they, they, they I don't know how they do it in this country, but in Australia they just make you run the streets. You know what no, I mean? No, like no, just no, no. go out the school, run around a little bit. Well, what, you can't get, see what brothers. ghetto did you grow up in no, in Australia? Yeah. Anyway, so my mate had a fucking uh, his house uh, was on one side of the school. We nicked off from the race and we went and sat in his house. But his house, <laughs> his house was near the finishing line, right? And we just, as when you're 14 or something, we just swipe liquor from his fucking dad's cabinet and just were drinking there. And then we get leathered. We're thinking this is about time. That, <laughs> <laughs> like, like the, 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 the everybody the, should like, be coming by. This is my good friend Nick Dyke. He, he died at sixteen. So you know, bless him. But uh, is this he, a friend that died in the he died car, car crash? Died in a car accident at sixteen. was horrible. Now and um, but we were like fourteen years old. We got a bit leather. Bringing down the show. And we were sitting in the thing, and then we thought, ah, oh, the, the race would be drawing to an end. 
So we jump out of the house <laughs> and we start we start running up the hill. We uh we break the uh, school record by uh, several minutes. <laughs> <laughs> is the record still up? No, well, the thing is, then they sent us to the regionals to compete against other schools. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love, and it happens. I, I, it doesn't happen anymore because they chip people. They put a chip in your shoe on your on your shoelace, so they know, like when you run a marathon or something, they know. Right, they you know to, where you, you're have, at. you have to touch pads right, right, every. Right. Second mile or something, but I used to love. I do that with people hiding in the basement. Anyway, oh. go on. I used to love uh, y'all have a silence basement? like that. Oh, no, yeah. um, we did, but a homeless guy fucking fucked it up. <laughs> um, not Jason, the other one that lived under there. Half you had there. another one, Jason. Go get the girl. What do y'all collect? What do y'all, what do y'all collect? Wait, 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 wait. But this is what I'm saying. The Boston Marathon. It's happened. New York City Marathon where people fucking cheated. They would get on the subway like at like mile three and take the subway to like mile 20 and then wait and win. Like fucking cheat and win. Uh, no, I got to tell you, if I'm on the subway and I see a Kenyan bloke <laughs> <laughs> in little fucking shorts with a, with a number fucking And a Bobby big smile. <laughs> big, big smile. I am going to run the rest of the race. <laughs> no, that was, y'all, that was y'all, like Kenyan. Do y'all collect homeless people like pets or something? No, no, it's just putting on. shit under. The girls are going to have a shot. Oh, girls. Girls. Okay, shot, and shot, shot, shot. May shot, I shot, say, shot, because shot, we don't do shot, advertisements shot. anymore, these are out of my George Lopez Tonight shot glasses that they gave me. Oh, this That's is what from they my gave friend Edgar and, and I have a Lopez Tonight Lopez. bathrobe. That we, are, we, are, Stop we actually are big Stop fans of the Lopez show because we are friends with Adam De La Pena, who's a writer on the show. Edgar does the website yes. on the show. Jim's been on the show, and I have a showcase to be on the show this week. I got week. turned down. I ate food in the green room <laughs> on the show. I got turned down for the Lopez show. Yeah, Everybody I, just missed. I, 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 I had food in the green room. Oh, my. Room. I see what... The wait, wait, wait. Are. You have to kiss before you do the shot. Or just, just do the kiss. You guys still haven't kissed yet. No, we're not going to. <laughs> Or just keep in that direction. That's cool. <laughs> okay. That's just okay. keep in that kiss, direction. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Seven years, bad sex. If you don't make eye contact while you're having shot. Jason, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. If you don't make eye contact, you're having butt sex. Okay. okay. Huh? Now kiss. Right. Now kiss. Now, now spit it back into each other's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I followed. Now finger her. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> now make out. Just, just a little bit now. What happened to the kiss? No, oh. tongue, tongue, tongue. A little tongue, bit of tongue, tongue, on, tongue. tongue. Just a little tongue. I'm an enabler. Come on. Please, a little tongue. Little, 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 little tongue. tongue. What happened to the kiss? No, we've we decided. We've we've de- we've and I've done it a million we've times. We've decided that you're the sexiest out of two because you fight it. Yeah, we like your reluctance. Yeah, I fight it? Yeah. Now be the aggressor, a little elite. Be the aggressor, I love Punch her in the stomach. Like Punch her in the stomach. Sometimes they like to be submissive. Fucking sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. It doesn't work when we're both submissive. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, for real. Pull her hair. Punch me. Pull her, Punch come me. Her, pull her hair like a cave girl and drag her back to no, Jim's hamster I, cage. And really, I'm going to lose my Okay, Lily, right grab the back of her hair and just really oh pull her God. into your face. I no, no, turn it. it around. Oh! Lily just grabbed her hair. Oh! You're the aggressor, Lily. You're the aggressor. Come on. Go for it. Go for it. Get down. Get on your fucking knees, Meredith. I don't know yeah, why. Clint, it's better. So I knew I would love this podcast. So clothes better come off in this episode. I knew I would love this podcast. Oh my god. Okay, it's a, no, someone. This, this no, is the only time you don't have to shoot turn, someone. Cut. Go turn the heater up, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, Ernie. Do right. something. Come on, little, come on, little snog. Eddie's got a good story. Come on, you're ruining the podcast. Please, yeah. Okay. Are we done? Okay, what is a frigid whore? <laughs> Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries. What is Jim Jeffries? Boo! Something you'll never get unless you stop making out with your friend here. Please, <laughs> just make out and be like every other girl that this is how they got into yeah, porn. Yeah, come on. Oh, come on. You did it before. What? You're more drunk now. No. Little, little, little bit of tongue. A little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, a little bit of tongue. Just rub tongues. Come on. And massage her vagina. Come on, Shh, Eddie. <laughs> 
Eddie is really fucking this Eddie, up. You know that. Right? Okay, I'm I'm not, coaching. Patience, Eddie. Haven't you heard Guns N' Roses? Uh, look, You're white. Look, look, I'm a sprinter. I, re- I really, I'm a I really look, think I other myself. people should get involved in this because I think we've Jason, just been taking three, up too much time. Jason, a three-way tongue with him. Will you guys tongue Jason? Oh, that's Will good. you do a three-way tongue with Jason? <laughs> So all your tongues touch exactly the oh, same time. Oh, please. He will, oh, please. He will literally what explode. Did I do? He will literally explode if that happens. How about, I'll watch. Meredith, go ahead. All right. <laughs> We've got to cut this all out. You people have ruined the show. I watch in the league. Boring. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Lilith was trying to stop the booze by showing her tits, and she she, she even faked that. She even mock fake showed her fucking yeah, yeah. boobs. That is a camera. There's, there's nothing like a do. there's nothing like a size eight tit to stop your booing. We've all been naked on the show. Jim <laughs> talks about the hemorrhoids in his ass. We've seen his nuts. I've told how my dad abused retarded people. I, I got I'll flash a testicle for a kiss. Yes. All right. A real we kiss. Know. Here's the bag. Here's the ball. The infamous ball. It's back. A real kiss. A real kiss, though. I don't want no oh, fake shit. It's silly putty. That was silly what putty. What are you keeping in your pocket? Is this <laughs> wasting time? That's a Jim. nice fetching pink testicle. Jim, don't why do you internet. grow no pube hair? Huh? What's wrong with you? Are you like prepubescent? No, I just don't. Oh, have... wow. That's cold. I shave though. my balls. <laughs> I just have nicely manicured testicles. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not seeing my balls. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no. boo. Oh, They're purple like... Jim, you heard that, right? What? They were like, Daryl, it's your turn. Sweetheart, I don't want to start a riot on Venice Beach, all right? Because I don't hey. want all these old Jewish ladies coming out here trying to suck hey, my dick. Hey, Daryl, Daryl. Being like, Darryl, being like that's the guy that shot me. Hey, Daryl, Daryl, <laughs> pull your cock out. Let's see these girls limbo. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. <laughs> <laughs> what, <limb? laughs> what? You can't. Wait, 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 wait. You can't limbo or touch a black cock. <laughs> I think it's both, man. Limbo. I think it's both. Dun, 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 no, no, get on top Meredith of just get fell on, on the ground. Red stripe. Lilith had the chance to get on top of her. Jason, Jason, get him one more shot. They need one more shot. They're not quite ready yet. Yeah. The, 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 Are we wasting time here? Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, but we edited this all out. I was going oh, to apply fun. for a job yeah, today. This is just for us. It's we, not we, a job. Where? You got Daryl, we stopped recording this hours part. ago. This is just for <laughs> us. <laughs> this is the way we all get laid. Well, no, I got to hook up. Though, right? I would like to say I would like to say thank you guys. This is fun as hell. <laughs> yeah, look, hey, hey, Daryl, next time we promise good looking birds. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. Hey, they just drank that I without your You guys just hit that? Oh, we didn't see that. Go get some more. We didn't see that. Now, can I oh, hey, <laughs> by the way? Bah, bah, bah. Right. Eddie, 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 can I use this form real quick? I have yeah, a public, sure, service sure, sure. public service announcement. Public service announcement? Yes. Um, Thank you, Daryl. I would just like to say there's been some stereotypes going around about black guys and fat white girls. And I would like to say, you know what? The stereotypes are true. Us black guys find fat white bitches just as disgusting as white boys do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the fuck this came from. I don't like. But you Fat see, bitches. you see it though. But, but the thing is, what I see is, I see with a black guy. Yeah, I, I don't think, mind I when think it's black men like Armenians, right? Huh? No, I'm saying black just men like fat Armenians. is She's like not really white. Like, Armenian. When, no, when you see, I don't mind when you see like a normal black guy, just a normal guy, and he's got the fat white blonde chick, right? But when you see the black guy it's who's true. been working out. And he's got the abs and the muscles. and You then don't he, see that as often, Jim. No, you do see that, though. Where, where, where? where? The, you do. You see dog, like a, us black, dog, I, me personally. Oh, and, and, and by the way, for all of y'all other than, what's the girl's name? Katie Cool or whatever. Coco. With iced tea? Or no, iced you, tea you the one that cussed Ka- you out for being a cunt. Caden Cross. Oh, that fat, the, the ugly chick. Yeah, oh. the ugly chick. What, what is her name? Shh, come on, I'm going to try to Ladies. Jesus fuck? Christ, Jason. Know what's funny, ladies? Know what's funny? That's all that song is. That's all that song is good for. <laughs> the show is fucking falling apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hey, Jim, can we leave in that thing about me saying that us black guys find the fat white bitches just... Oh, yeah, no, that's in, that's in, it's fine. And we're going to cut in where you just said, can we leave that in? (laughs) (laughs) That's where we're cutting in. (laughs) Okay, so we're back. We're back. We're officially back. I, I, I... uh, we we had to go on break for a second because... I, I will explain what happened was, right? The girls were talking gibberish because they're a little bit drunk and they want to make up with it. There's too many boys in the room. Well, get on the and floor when I say and roll boys, around. Right, now, what happened is, right, um, as I said earlier about Jason being a child where the only way he gets to meet girls, I said this in the last episode about how Jason has to punch a person or something like that. I said to the girls, I said, please be quiet. We're trying to talk. Daryl's talking. So... Jason got his pad where he writes his shit lyrics. <laughs> oh, bandwagon. Uh, <laughs> bandwagon. No accounting for I'm taste, only jo- I, I said you are good. I was only joking. There's no accounting for taste. I was only joking. And when Jason gets a bit of liquor in him, whatever, he threw the pad at the girls' heads. Now, we're trying to get them to make out, Jason, hitting, punching. No, she likes to wrestle and get hit. She told me that. That's her sexual R- foreplay. Really? Yeah. Oh, elite. And Meredith now are making out with Duke. Yeah, you know what it is. It's like the thing is they got out of control, but they wouldn't make out with us. It was that's not out of control. Was, I got a joke. I got a joke. It was girls gone mild. <laughs> oh. That's funny. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> girls gone mild. That is the name of the episode. Duke. Uh, I like how they're making out with Duke now, yeah, but they, they won't make out with each other. Daryl. Daryl was a. Uh, Daryl was at the uh, the green room when I was taping. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paul oh, you were there for show. that. <laughs> Paul, uh, oh, I love this story. And uh, you were there for that. Yeah, I oh was. I was on the show. And uh, that's right. It was you, Joe Rogan, uh, and, and they kept saying Cheech they kept and, uh, saying, uh, uh, Tommy Chong. Tommy, Tommy Chong, Chong kept yeah. saying the N word. You know, he's in a music group called Two Chinks and a Nigger or something. Was the name right, of the right, band. Right, right, right. So they kept saying the word, and everybody started talking about the N word and the significance of it. Why it's funny? Why it's not? Why it shouldn't be said? And all of us, and everybody's laughing. And all of a sudden, Daryl stands up from the crowd. Well, 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 well. well. <laughs> I tell the story better. What happened was, <laughs> what happened was, I wasn't on the show. What happened was, they had me at the taping, and I wanted to be close to the bar. So the best seat that was close to the bar, they sat me at. And then when they sat down to tape, it turns out I'm right behind Paul Provenza. Right. So every time that one of the comics said the N-word, a camera guy would look at me and put the camera on me and the red light would come on. Because <laughs> I was laughing because I love comedy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So finally, after the eighth time... that I was laughing have- because I love the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> So after the eighth time that this shit happened, close to the end of the show, because all of us comics are sitting around in like a circle and comics are jumping up and saying shit that aren't on the panel. I sure. finally jumped up and I was like, look, Paul, nothing personal, but uh, don't have me looking like a coon when y'all edit this shit. Because every time somebody said the N word, that camera guy right there just focuses on me laughing. So I know how people edit shit, so it's going to have me looking like I'm Carlton from fucking Fresh Prince. <laughs> Every time somebody <laughs> says the N-word, somebody's going to look at me laughing. I'm like, yeah, it's like, because people at home will be like, this nigga's cooning his ass off. <laughs> so, <laughs> because every time that, that they said the N-word, the camera guy would go to me, because I was the only black guy there that was close enough to film. Mm-hmm. But it was another black guy behind me, and and he was like, well, it's another black guy here, and I'm like, you don't count because the lights aren't bright enough to see your ass. Anyway. <laughs> I, I was explaining that, though, to Jesse, our producer today. Been. I was explaining the story to Jesse, right. and he was laughing. He goes, yeah, but I understand as the editor, he goes, you don't want to cut away after somebody says the N-word to a white guy and have him laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless it's Jim, of course. Maybe, maybe the cameraman's last job was on cops. <laughs> Like he was just, he was just used to that. I don't, I, 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 was that bad? No, 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 I, no. I, I, I might be dumb. I was trying to figure out machete no, laugh. I almost forgot Eddie was there for that shit, man. Yeah. That was hilarious because it was like Paul was speechless. What does the word coon mean though? Because that's another coon. popular in Australia. Okay, uh, coon. Well, because y'all were in Australia, it's a brand cheese. of cheese. <laughs> Should we tell the coons? They, have, they have adverts in Australia where there's like toasted cheese, this brand of cheese, <laughs> and, it, and it comes out, and the guy goes. And then he takes a bite of it and goes, there's nothing like toasted cheese. 
I <laughs> said, he's, he's not lying. He's not lying. <laughs> and I'm talking like that advert was in the 90s. I'm not talking like the. What are you like, talking? I think it's still on the air. You know what? <laughs> But that was my favourite cheese. I, you know I think it comes from a place called Kuna Barra Brand. I might be wrong. There'll be Australian people running, but it comes from a place called Kuna Barra Brand, where the cheese is from. I like that version better. I'm not even gonna gonna, gonna tell the US version. Coon cheese. Just just Google Coon cheese. Dog. I it's, don't even want it. It's K O. It's K O O N. K O O N. Yeah. See, Coon. No idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what it well, because there's no black people in Washington. But uh, Meredith is drunk, everyone. <laughs> no shit. Well, you're from Washington State, and now that the Seattle Supersonics have left, it's no black people there. So don't worry about it. Um, I like your version better, Jim. What is the right. What is the uh, origination of the word coon? What, what? The, the original. What it is is a coon is a guy, a black guy. That lives up to every stereotype that you have of of a black guy. Like a raccoon. Right. But why? I don't get it. I have no idea, but that's what it is. So it's a word we use. Well, it's a, uses. It's, a derogator, it's a derogatory term. So when I say don't have me looking like a coon. What's your favorite derogatory term towards other races? And can you get away with them as a black guy on stage? Because like this is what no what no what no what like really pisses me off on stage, and I think I've talked to Eddie about. Because you see, that. black guys really getting into Asian right. blokes. But know what 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 happens was, and I've talked to Eddie about this. I wish that we could get over this bullshit because when white comics are able to say more shit, that gives me freedom. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, you're like, a good I, nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but like, you know what? You know what? And Eddie knows this, and and you've seen it too, Jim. Like, I've been blessed enough to work a lot of the improvs and a, a <laughs> lot of mainstream rooms, but for the but for the most part, African American comics are stereotyped into working certain types of rooms. But my whole thing is, I would like for y'all to have the freedom that we have to say whatever because what that does is it makes comedy comedy. It doesn't classify you're a mainstream comic or you're a gay comic. Funny is funny. So I I would love for you to be able to say that and just get away with it. I'm not a big fan of when comedy nights have Latino night. Right, night. I'm not either. And like, I'm like, not either. They're just for last comedy fest in Montreal, they do it all the time. It's always like the wise guys, which is their code word for Italian. Italians. Or the urban Urban. Urban. Is, urban. urban is code no, word for no, black. And, 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 urban and they, is the most derogatory term I've ever heard. That's like saying you can't be black and live in the country. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's weird as shit. I was the first guy at the Hollywood Improv as a black guy to have my own show. I don't know if Eddie did it or not, but it wasn't named Chocolate Something or <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tripping On. Chocolate Sunday <laughs> like, is a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It was like, I I was a black guy that just booked funny motherfuckers, and mm. the improv gave me What a was the night called? It, it was called <laughs> Ignorance is Bliss. That was my show. Well, that's pretty black, Ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was do you know the comedian Artie Fuqua yes Artie Artie Fuqua and I one night got in a limo with a bunch of girls after a show they were on like a, a bachelorette party and they said hey you want to go with us out there yeah sure we get in the club or we get in the limo and we start driving around New York City and we go to a nightclub with them and they were like Italian girls from Staten Island and uh, we get to like we go to a couple nightclubs and the, the girls are like, can you get us Coke? And, and we hook them up with a drug dealer. And the girl, I remember the one girl going, Mom, you got to try this Coke. So these, <laughs> girls, these girls are doing Coke together. And we're in, the, we're in the limo. And we get out at this one nightclub. And the girl goes, I can't find my purse. I lost my purse. And she looked at Artie. And she goes, and she goes I can't find it. And her friend goes, the jig probably took it. Oh. And I go. Is that when people say the jig is up? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's when my dick is hard, Playboy. Or, or, or she might have even said the jigaboo took it. I and love I, Liz clap at that. And I go, and I go, what did she just fucking say? And Artie's laughing. And I go, I got really angry. And I go, fuck you, bitch. You, what the fuck did you just say? And Artie goes, calm down. And I'm like, oh, she just fucking called you a jigaboo. And Artie goes, who uses the word jigaboo? jigaboo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like that's not even no, an insult. That's not even an insult. That's some <laughs> stupid shit. Like Noah's, Noah's, <laughs> Noah's funny as hell is that uh, even in even in that concept, it's like 
No, you just uh, you just told your mother that she has to try this. Why am I going to quantify anything that you say after you told your mom that that this is some good coke? The same reason I write back to everyone that twitters me and writes rude shit. <laughs> Is you got to leave him alone, Eddie. You got to leave him alone, Eddie. What has happened with the two girls on the floor? They're just like a dog. They're bonded over. It. They're molested. I reckon if we leave these two alone in a room, they'll fuck each other. They'll No, they're going to no, fuck the dog. No, Meredith and the dog. They're going to fuck the dog. Who? Me and the dog. Meredith, you have to fuck Lilith or the dog. Which one? The dog. Okay, Lilith, you have to fuck the dog or, or Meredith. Lilith, you have to fuck the dog or Meredith. Which one? Which one? Which one, Lilith? You notice my dog didn't black at you or uh, bark at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jason, that was subconscious. <laughs> that was random. He's as a well. black dog. He's not. I mean, like Noosa attacked Lloyd. Jason, your dog is racist. No, that was random as shit. Yeah, Jason. Jason, Jason, has this whole episode and last week's episode have they bothered you that the two girls that you would like to have sex with most in this entire world are? cuddling with each other and kissing each other no. and they haven't even looked at you once i don't care really can i can i ask one question sure who is he <laughs> <laughs> we have to know what next time that i come back yeah <laughs> you give him a script or something <laughs> to say what the fuck he does because the song sucked and oh excuse me the song didn't completely suck the chorus was awesome Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Check us out on... Uh, I can't plug nothing, motherfucker. Oh, no, we're going to do that. We're only joking. <laughs> Start, but we are leaving. Just plug it now. What do you got, Daryl? What's going on? Dog, I will be in Las Vegas July the 19th through the 24th. So will I. Yeah. All right, for real. I'll be there no, on the 24th. For real? <laughs> yeah. Come out. You I'm guys, there. You guys wait, should wait. hang out. I'm yeah. at the Harris, man. Come out here. You know, that's the same weekend of the of the big uh, cosmetics and uh, beauty. Uh, no, I'm going to be. That's why Daryl's there. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, we all know that. We're all going to no, fucking I'm Vegas. No, I'm in Las Vegas, and then uh, I'm all. I'm in Las Vegas the 19th through the 24th. You're working at Harris. Harris Improv? Yeah, the Harris Improv. Harris Improv. Do they have, I've, I've worked that club. Yeah. They've got a green room there. Yeah. yeah. They've got a couch there. Yeah. They, and they, uh, they have a buffet. <laughs> yes. Can you hook Jason up? Jason kiss a dick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's nice to kiss something. <laughs> now I'm going to defend Jason and, a little bit. Watch and, this, Daryl. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Jason, what are you going to be there for? I'm there for the uh, the hair color company. And there's going to be a lot of models around you. Yep. And I'll be uh, I'll be hip deep in models. And do you, can Daryl come hang out with you? <laughs> he said kiss a dick. I don't know. Dog, you I do the math. Hold up, Playboy. I will fuck anyway. It ain't no big deal. I'm sure now, it's... Now, and uh, also, also... Jason, you're going to get nasty letters that you're not getting along with people. Yeah, and... He is getting along with people, but... He just said I kiss a dick. I mean, I'm, I'm, all right. Jason... You're welcome. You and you hurt my feelings, Jason, but you please suck come hang out with me in the in the hair color Jason, models. your ass has gotten free food. Your ass can, <laughs> your ass can, can take a joke. Now yeah, and, kiss, and it, kiss it, dick, I, Jason. I hope you, I hope you shoot him in the butt. <laughs> you know what? Jim is gonna use that line from now. Uh, Lily, oh, no. oh. oh wow! Oh wow! What I'm are saying, they doing? Okay, over there? let me make this quick because I'm seeing coochie. Uh, and also, also August the first, August the first, my CD finally comes out. Does I'm it the, drop? Does it drop? My my uh, CD <laughs> drops. I'm the I'm the first artist other than George Carlin on George Carlin's record label, Air Drum Records. <laughs> Comes out August the first. Wildly in inappropriate on uh, Air Drum Records drops August. Are the you? 1st. Congratulations. Were, were, were you pretty, this? Were you, you this drunk when you recorded the yes. <laughs> album? It was at the Hollywood Improv. I taped it and dog. I was fucked up, but it's funny as hell. I'm uh I'm uh All right. the album drops on August first. And by the way, just real quick, just Hurry, what I said. <laughs> Shut up, Jason. Jason, Jason, go on. Earlier, earlier, just what I said. Guys, if you have a chance to check out Eddie and Jim live, oh, my God. I've seen them. I love them. Like, Jim and and Eddie are the only comics that I can sit there and watch and laugh my ass off because most comics suck, but I can watch these two. 
So trust me, <laughs> if, if you if you see them coming to your town, tell your. All right, we're gonna have you on again. I, no, no, I appreciate <laughs> that. I I am in I am in Nash, I am in Nashville this week by shows to uh, the Club Nokia <laughs> Club Nokia in LA and uh, the Wilbur Theatre in Boston coming Any, up people. anybody that has made it this long into the show congratulations <laughs> download us on Stitcher find us on YouTube get our website Jim and Eddie talk I want to thank Machete Luke Jesse who's not here you fuck Lalit and 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 uh, Meredith, thank you for everything you've done. You, you we're gonna we're gonna have some good shit with you guys. Just keep it going. Um, I O P K. Uh, our intern Ray has been doing. We call him Ray. His real name's Roy, but we're gonna continue calling him Roy. Um, uh, find Southern Gentlemen always for the great shirts. So, FindSouthernGentlemen.com. Everyone who emails us, you've been great. Keep up the emails. We read them. We're going to start reading, or we read them, but we're going to read them on, on here. And keep up the donations. You fucks are great. Thank you. Have a great night, everybody. Happy 4th of July. Oh, that was past. Goodbye. Meredith, fuck Lilith. Lilith, fuck Meredith. Do it. Go. Good. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We're done. This is the longest episode ever. Yeah.